Hey folks, it's uh, been a while since I did a video about anything, um, but I did want to take a few minutes today and talk about something that uh, came up in a discussion in one of the various uh, nation groups on Facebook. You can uh, take a pick of which nation that might have been. We all know that they're pretty much the same, uh, and there's a lot of just bizarre stuff that goes on in there. But today, uh, specifically, was, uh, there was a discussion about uh, shooting with a, uh, something like a, a pinky grip extension on pistols. The basic assertion was that if you are not able to shoot without that kind of extension, uh, with your dangling pinky, as it was said, uh, that, uh, you're just not a good shooter. So, um, again, you must, uh, <laughs> Basically, if, if you need an extension or a full-size grip to shoot, you're just, you're a bad shooter and that's some kind of a handicap. I don't know. Uh, but basically, that's nonsense. And so I wanted to just take a few minutes to um, show a couple of examples of exactly why these are so important in our shooting, um, how they help us, um, and yes, some sort of basic ideas on what to do um, for for if you do have a small frame pistol, something that doesn't have that. Uh, or if for any reason, maybe you don't have pinkies, uh, because I've seen that, and I know at least one person um, who shoots very well, um, and uh, I, I haven't had a chance to pick his brain about this just quite yet, but I plan to very soon. And so uh, I've got three pistols here in front of me that I want to talk about, three handguns. And I'm just going to kind of go, uh, I've got a uh, full-size handgun, which is, this is my uh, Grey Ghost Precision um, with a Brownells um, Glock 17 slide. Uh, all this work done here by uh, Cerco Southwest. I love them. Check them out. Uh, so that's full-size pistol. I've also got a... Uh, something of a subcompact, if you will. This is a FNS 9 compact, so you can see it's a nice short little grip, um, particularly when compared to the Glock, uh, the uh, Grey Ghost Precision Frame, sorry there, this is not a Glock. Um, you can see there's you know, an inch and a half shorter grip there. And then finally, um, because it's one that gets shot, brought up, something that gets brought up talking about ease of shooting uh, all the time, and that's just a nice little revolver. Little uh, uh, Smith & Wesson Airweight 38. This is sort of a backup gun that I carry sometimes. Um, I will carry it as a primary sometimes because it's a nice and small profile. I've got really, uh, I've got a nice um, Filster uh, City Special holster for this. It's great. Also sometimes carried on the ankle or backpack, whatever it happens to be. It's a, it's a backup. It's hardly ever a primary, but it's not the point. So uh, let's start with the, the uh, Grey Ghost, the full-size pistol here. So I'm a right-handed shooter, so right-handed. Yes, I'm right-handed, even though I have my watch on my right hand. Some people will always ask me about that. Um, so this is, and, and I want it to be clear that this isn't something that I'm just like uh, concocting, formulating on my own. This is coming from... Um, from other shooters, from instructors, um, Scott Jedlinski has talked about this a lot in, in his classes about the importance of your pinky on your grip. Um, and when I recall, I remember um, having some instruction with him and he was specifically talking about like um, uh, magazine walls and adding, you know, the little uh, kind of lip on the front here. So basically the way that your pinky works is it helps you get that full grip, right? And as you're shooting, you're, the, the, the natural motion of the shooting wants to drive, drive the gun up. Of course, we all know that. Recoil comes back like this. With your pinky down here at the bottom, what that's doing is that allows you to rotate your grip into it. I'm going to kind of over-exaggerate this with my hand off here. But as you rotate your hand, your, your grip into it, you're putting pressure down on the bottom here and using that pinky as your, basically the, the, the base of your lever there. And so having that pinky strength, that's the importance of it. All pushes in right there. Everything is pivoting. Uh, you won't be able to pivot basically right there. By supporting, by having additional support 
two pinkies if you want to do that. In my case, I also have the magwell. It gives a nice little lip to grab onto, pushes down, downward pressure on that, also for better recoil mitigation. So as you're shooting this way, you shoot, you're being able to drive force down into your pinkies there in order to compensate for the recoil. Uh, just for the record, I know I didn't mention this earlier, but all of these guns are empty and clear, empty and clear, uh, empty and clear. So, so that's with the full size. The full size, obviously, it, it's it's really easy to sort of um, demonstrate and understand the importance of that because I mean it's it's clear to see. Like you can see that as I push that out, if I want to have pressure to mitigate that recoil, I want to be driving the gun straight out, holding the grip straight, and there is a little bit of pressure that's going to come down onto it there. In a more subcompact size, uh, one thing that I've always liked uh, about this particular pistol is the fact that it comes with three magazines, and unfortunately these FN magazines are not cheap, uh, so it was actually pretty nice of them to include three of them uh, in the box with the gun. Uh, the first magazine that comes with it is just a basic flush fit 12 rounder, right? Just like that, okay? And you can see right there the dangling pinky. Okay, great. If you want to shoot like this, hey, more power to you. But that the, the very the fact is you are losing, if you just want, if you assume that all of your fingers have the exact same strength, you are losing 20% of your grip strength right there by having nothing for that pinky to hold on to. Now, maybe you've got little tiny hands or something you can cinch up on here like that, maybe. I don't know. That's super duper uncomfortable for me. Uh, I can't shoot like that. Not going to happen. So you end up grabbing it like that. Okay. The difference then, uh, FN also ships it with two additional magazines, one of which is a really nice handy dandy 17 rounder. These are the same magazines that go, that shoot in the FNS uh, full size guns and has a nice grip extension there. Makes it a full-size grip. Cool. That's great. Again, we've already talked about full sizes. What's nice about this one? Got a little bit of a lip on the on the front of it there on the base plate. Uh, pro provides some really good leverage. But the only real difference is going to be this one. Yeah, little little this little guy there. Just a little extension. This is not a plus anything. You know, this doesn't hold extra rounds. Um, it's just, it's the same 12 round magazine as the other one. It's just got this extension on it. For my money, if you're going to put extensions on your magazines like that, um, shoot, you might as well get a plus two or a plus four, whatever you can, whatever you can get. Because if you're adding length, why not add capacity? So, again, just that little pinky extension. You can see that's the difference between the two there, right? Simple enough. That provides me all the leverage that I need with that pinky. That's it. Simple. Easy. And then finally, uh, again, uh oh, I'm gonna drop my little thing there, whatever. Finally, the revolver. Um, one of the reasons that I typically don't ever recommend revolvers for first hand shooters, for inexperienced shooters, for uh, you know, the, my grandma who needs to have a gun at home and she can't rack the slide on a whatever, um, is just something like this gun, uh, which gets recommended a lot because, you know, folks like these for uh, purse carry or uh, whatever. This is really nice to have next to the bedside because it's nice and small. The lady's got small hands and whatever. Most of that is nonsense. I'll say 99% of that is nonsense. Um, if you're going to carry it in a purse or something like that, um, off-body carry is silly. But, yeah, okay, I guess it's small enough that you can drop it anywhere. Put, a good, put it in a good holster, okay? Don't just put this in a purse or a backpack or whatever like that. Get a proper holster on it. Anyway, this one has the same issue, which, of course, is the nice, the, the uh, short little uh, grip there. 
for me, I have fairly large hands. Uh, I don't have giant whatever hands, but uh, my hands are uh, average size for a human of my age and whatever. <laughs> so for me, this is pretty tough to get a, a good proper grip on. Now, the big difference between the revolver and the semi-auto is that since this doesn't have any, you know, reciprocating slide, I'm able to, if I need to, basically just grip that gun up a lot higher and maybe get some of my, get some of my pinky onto the, onto the, uh, the, the grip there. Now, this is not going to feel great when I shoot it. Uh, nothing about this gun feels great when you shoot it, quite frankly. Um, but I am able to get up. This is, uh, this is the, uh hammerless design so there's no hammer getting in the way here so like I said I'm able if I need to I can get my grip up quite a bit higher uh, on the frame of the pistol of the gun if I need to uh, it's not blocking my sights or anything there so I can do that for something like this if this was going to be a daily carry gun for me something that I was going to carry as my primary or uh, shoot competition in, in a, a, a backup gun or revolver match something like that uh, which I wouldn't, but if I was going to get, uh, you can get larger grips, Hogue makes some, um, you can get Smith & Wesson makes some, whatever you want to do. Um, really easy to fix. But basically this comes back to the same problem where if you are shooting with your pinky, uh, you know, losing that extra leverage and, and grip strength, that's just, uh, that's, that's, that's strength that you're leaving on the table. So this is going to cause the gun to jump a little bit more. It's going to cause a little bit more uh, felt recoil, obviously, make it a little harder to control. So for my money, again, of course, as always, if you can carry a full-size gun, I say do it. Um, there, of course, are conditions and situations, times, places where maybe you can't carry that. If you can carry a, a compact, something like this, I definitely would recommend something with a little pinky extension. Um, anybody who picks up one of these guns, uh, you know, working in sales, when people will come up to the counter and say, Hey, tell me about this gun. I'd say, Oh, it's good. Uh, the only thing I don't like is this base plate. It's basic, but it comes with this one. And, you know, you get to put the, put the gun in their hands and you can, uh, recognize the world of difference just between, uh, these two here. So if you can carry a compact gun or subcompact, you know, the, uh, SIG 365 or, uh, you know, uh, MOP Shield, whatever it happens to be, those pinky extensions make all the difference in the world. Uh, and that's it for today. Um, if you guys haven't already, please go and check out Firearms Policy Co Coalition. Um, they are doing fantastic work. They are actually filing lawsuits, winning lawsuits, winning stuff, um, protecting our rights. And it's an excellent organization and they always need our support. Uh, help them help us. So that's it for today. Peace out.